All right, let's take a look at some anatomy with our heart model. First thing we have is across the broad top superior aspect is the base. We got the apex, a little pointy part down here at the bottom. <clears throat> we go back to the base, look at some of the very large blood vessels we see. Here we have the superior vena cava, draining blood from everywhere above the heart into the right atrium. Here we have the aorta, which is what your left ventricle pushes blood into, that goes out to all the body. Here we have the pulmonary trunk, what your right ventricle pushes blood into. And we'll look at some of these others like pulmonary arteries and veins when we look to the rear posterior. So looking here to the front, <clears throat> we can see some other blood vessels. Like right here, we have the right coronary artery, which also leads to the right marginal artery. All right, remember the margins are always on the edges. We got a right marginal here, we got a left marginal right over here. And this right coronary also leads to the posterior interventricular artery, which we'll see on the back. We look right here to the front in red, we've got the anterior interventricular artery. And in blue, that's the great cardiac vein right alongside it. Here in blue, we have the small cardiac vein right here. So there's a lot of things we see on our front aspect. And looking at our chambers, well, here's our right atrium. Notice you can see it well from the front. But over here at your left atrium, you really need to look posterior to the back. And then here's our right ventricle and our left ventricle. We'll look at those to the inside too. So if we flip this over and look to the back, here we can see in blue our pulmonary arteries. They're gonna take blood away from the heart and to the lungs. And then after that, it's gonna come back in through the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. We can also see our coronary sinus, which is gonna lead into this right atrium. And then here in red <clears throat> is our posterior interventricular artery and our middle cardiac vein. So there's some of this from the back. Here's our right atrium, again, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. So if we put it back on here and open it back up, here we can see the inside, our right atrium. And if we flip this, there's our left atrium here, right ventricle and left ventricle. Here's our tricuspid valve with the little chordae tendony tendons and the papillary muscles. Here's our bicuspid on the left, also called the mitral valve with its own chordae tendony and papillary muscles. At the base of the pulmonary trunk is the pulmonary semilunar valve. And way down here at the bottom of the aorta is the aortic semilunar valve. Here in between the two ventricles is a wall or a septum, the interventricular septum. There's also an interatrial septum, but you can't see it on this view right here. So again, there's some of your views front and back, inside and outside. Hopefully that'll help you with your heart anatomy.